I have prepared a recording session. All files were recorded using the OC818 by our friend Adrian Hall. The WAV files as well as the plugin can be downloaded from our homepage austrian.audio for free. Let's start with a file labeled Drums Room. The microphone is set to omnidirectional. I switch it to cardio. You can hear by the time you switch to cardioid, the room sound will be less prominent and the general sound gets more focused. I boosted the bass frequencies a bit. Now I can listen to the other side of the microphone, to the rear capsule, which is pointing away from the concept. The signal is quieter and you can clearly hear more of that room. We also have figure 8, which has the most impressive sound. There are situations in which you like to choose the best bits from those three polar patterns. This is what I like to demonstrate next. I like the focus the cardioid pattern has, but I also like the power in the kick drum coming from the omnidirectional pattern. To achieve those qualities of these two patterns, I start by soloing the bass band and switching it to omnidirectional. Let me boost it as well a bit. Next I move on to the frequency band which focuses on the lower frequencies of the snare. I actually like the way it is. Moving on to the next band we hear the snare and parts of the hi-hat. I change the range of that band up a bit to get more focus on what I like to change. There's the hi-hat. Let's keep it that way. Okay, moving on to the last band, where we of course hear the high frequencies. I choose the omnidirectional pattern again, because to my ears this has the prettiest high frequencies. To see and hear what we have changed, I can do an AB comparison like this. Standard cardioid. And our changes. Last but not least, I can add some proximity effect to thicken the low end of the signal, like this. In this video I like to show you how to creatively use the Polar Designer in a guitar recording situation and how to use the rear side of the OC818. Here we have two guitar recordings. Let's start with the acoustic track. I have only created two bands, five are possible. I will now go from cardioid to omnidirectional to figure eight. You obviously do not hear a lot of the room where this recording was made, which means the room was properly treated. Let's hear how the rear capsule of the microphone sounds like. It is of course a bit lower in volume, but we can adjust the level to our needs. The sound of the higher frequencies is really nice. I like it. The bass is a bit mushy for my taste, which is why I will adjust it and will introduce more focus by using a cardioid pattern to that band. To the high frequencies, you can clearly tell that the mic is pointed away from the instrument. Therefore, I choose a wider cardioid pattern to pick up more sound. I probably raised the level a bit too much, let me correct that. Anytime. 
time you can perform an A-B comparison to check your work. I think we achieved a nice sound here. The process is quite similar with the electric guitar. The microphone is close up to the speaker of the guitar amp. Again, let's listen what the rear capsule is hearing. Adjusting the level. This is not bad at all to my ears. We learn by experimenting with these parameters that we can achieve a lot of nice and usable sounds if you use a microphone like the OC818 which has balanced off-axis qualities. In this episode I'd like to show you how to use polar patterns in a more technical way. We set up an OC818 to record a snare and you can clearly see in the waveform that the front side of the microphone is louder than the back side pointing away from the snare. Let's have a listen. I think you are familiar with that beat. Let me switch to the cardioid pattern. This is the cardioid pattern on the rear capsule, which is pointing away from the sound source. Here you can hear the snare pretty well. You can duplicate this track and open up the polar designer on both tracks, adding a cardioid pattern on the rear capsule, just as if you had two virtual microphones made out of one hardware microphone. By doing so, you can really dig deep into sound options. Next I'd like to show you an option you have to let the algorithm decide which polar pattern is best for the given sound. To start, I need to loop the signal I like to work on, in this case, the snare. Back in the polar designer app, I click on maximize target and then click maximize. The plugin automatically chooses a polar pattern to match the highest energy level in the signal. In this case it is figure 8, which makes totally sense, as the proximity effect is bigger in that pattern, which means there is more emphasis in the bass. Now let's talk about the things I do not want to have in my signal. If we look at the waveform, here's the bit of the hi-hat which I do not want in the snare signal. In this specific beat though, the hi-hat is overlapping the kick drum, so we need to address this one way or the other. For this reason I only loop the end of the waveform in order to not affect the kick drum, or at least as possible. I click on terminate spill and then terminate to eliminate or lower the spill I do not want. This is the moment when I try to eliminate the things I do not want and especially in the higher frequencies where the hi-hat lifts a supercardioid will be active. This means that very likely the hi-hat was next to the snare microphone at about 120 degrees or 4 o'clock position, which is of course a common setup with drum sets. Additional to the things we already did, I now like to loop this and click on maximize target to spill. The plugin will now check on what is the best polar pattern to use to attenuate the spill and bring the sonic material forward which I like to feature, in that case the snare. In consequence, we can now hear the snare is more prominent. And check it out, we got more bass in the snare sound as well. Up in the higher frequencies, the higher that can be heard is thinner and has less energy. And that's the termination control. A very cool and usable feature not only on drums but also on scratch and finger noises on acoustic guitars for example.